What is going on guys? Behind me I have the new headquarters operations for Military Lawn Cuts where we are going to be running three separate locations out of this exact area. So today I am going to take you on a shop tour of the area and show you guys around at how we have our whole entire process set up. Our shop, our equipment, our parking, the building where we're going to put our office staff and just give you guys the whole rundown, an in-depth scoop of what our plans are for this location. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so we already poured some gravel here for our trucks to park. So we're going to get parking blocks for our employees. One right here, one right here, and then there's gonna be one right there. So we'll be able to get three personal vehicles right here. And then what we're also going to do, um, these are not actually our trucks. We have some contractors here working, um, but we're going to get some parking blocks up here as well. So there'll probably be one, two, three, maybe four, may, four or five probably um, parking blocks. And then currently right now, we've got our fertilizer over here for our uh, fertilizer round that we are storing and then we do have additional parking over here. Sometimes I don't really like parking on the grass because it can get really muddy, things like that. But if need be, I have lined up all of the trucks here, which is kind of nice. So everybody who's driving by can visually see our trucks, uh, but we can pull them in on a slant, one right there. And then this will basically go all the way down. So our goal is to have one separate location operate this side. So we would get gravel poured all here, maybe put like a little shop area in that corner or maybe back here because it gets a little wet right here. But this would be kind of one section off for a 500 to $700,000 business. And then on this side, which we're currently operating here, is going to be a separate location. So again, we already poured our gravel here. And here is where we park our current trucks. So we have a one truck that can park there, one truck that can park there. And then we have two trucks that can park right here. And then this is the storage shed that we put all of our equipment in. So this big door just slides left to right. It's nice and nice and big for our guys. And so this is really it. So we've got all of our chemical applications on this side is, as well as some landscaping uh, tools. So we just had electrical run and we got the lights here. So let's see if they work here. Oh, that's right. We have the actually uh, we actually have the power off because uh, we have some contractors working. So we're not going to be able to see the lights, but uh, we've got the yellow slip process here and just everything that we need for our team. We built these shelves last year. They're really nice because we built them high enough for the mowers to go under so we can fit two mowers under each cubby and then the backpack blowers go up on top here just like this one. This is a good example here can fit both mowers under there comfortably. And then we have the gas cans. We try to number all of our gas cans and equipment so it so we know exactly what truck it's going on. We've got some uh, other tools and just everything that we need over here, sharpened blades. I just went ahead and sharpened the blades here, which I'll show you here momentarily, and extra weed eaters and everything that we need in our shop. But we just moved in here not too long ago, so it is coming together and there is ample walking space. So this used to be sand right here and it was a very hard slope. We came in here with a bulldozer. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Um, I posted it maybe a couple, a week or two ago, but we came in here, laid all this gravel and flattened everything out. So. All right, so this is going to be our supply room here. And this is a nice little concreted area that we have available. Excuse the kind of messiness right now. This is just overflow of extra stuff that we have. But 
Over here, I just set up the RBG 712 for our blade sharpener, and it has this nice uh, little setup where we can hang everything that we need. But this is where we'll sharpen the blades. And again, we did have electrical run here, so we just had a guy come out and run this electrical up here, and we now have lights out here. This actually used to be a horse um, area where people would use uh, these things to put saddles. And as you can see, it's got some like ropes and stuff up here, but we're gonna be using it for the supply room for us. So nice little setup here. And then this property goes all the way back behind that tree. So there's actually two sections here. It sits on two and a half acres and excuse the kind of overgrown here. Maybe I'll make a video one day of us uh, in the near future cutting that stuff down. So um, super nice though. We have some uh, couple of people that are actually renting uh, their horses back here. So it helps create a little bit of passive income for us to help pay for the mortgage and things like that. But eventually, I don't know if you can see back there, there's a nice big pile for burning. What's nice about this property is that we can burn out here and there are no restrictions. We are out in the county. This is why we bought the property. And uh, it's got a couple horse stables that they can use and things like that. But yeah, this is basically it. It comes all the way around here. The whole property is actually fenced. And then we've also got a, a burn pit pile over here as well that we're gonna be uh, burning, so. All right, so the reason that we chose this location, it is a little bit outside of, um, it is inside of our service area, but it's on kind of more so the edge. But we know that eventually all of this undeveloped land will fill in. Like there's literally fields around us. And actually, if you guys are familiar with Texas, we can actually see behind me the Texas tulip farm is right over there so it's a cool little spot and we chose this location because number one it is out in the county we were actually looking at a property out in Krugerville for 278,000 and we were like we put an offer on the property they accepted it and all of this stuff and we were like so close to closing on it but once we talked to the town and the city they said that we couldn't run a commercial business out of that house because it was in city limits and they had restrictions on that so if you guys are planning on doing something like this um actually i got to show you on the inside too but if you guys are planning on doing something like this you got to make sure that you can run a business out of that location you have to check the lodge you have to check the regulations because um you know sometimes they do put restrictions on that stuff the nice part about this property the reason why we bought this property it was a little bit outside of our uh, price range and a little bit it wasn't directly in the middle of our service area which is okay it's still in it was because there are literally no restrictions on this property we can burn on the property we can park trucks on this property rvs we can build whatever we want we can run a business here and there are no laws out there saying that that we can't so you know we checked with the town we checked with the city we did all of our due diligence to make sure that we can operate here so we got this nice big 90 inch sign behind us because we're in texas Alrighty, so we got a little bit more inside the house here than last time when i showed you guys in here but you know me and my whiteboards always got to have a whiteboard this is kind of like the meeting area gm sits back here and then over here we have our conference table so that way we can do meetings and do inter uh, interviews and things like that. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys is this room over here is going to be our sales office here. So there's going to be probably two uh, office people in here answering phones and doing all that fun stuff. Over here behind me is going to be our new um, media room. So all of the YouTube that I'll be doing, uh, interviews, uh, you know, all of that stuff, coaching calls. By the way, if you want to get on a coaching call with me, there is an email in the description below. 
All you have to do, shoot me an email. I'll hop on a 30 minute call with you and help you answer any questions that you have for your business to help you get where you want to go and accomplish your goals. Utilize it, guys. It's completely free. I'm giving you my time, which is very valuable. So I believe, and, and here, let me, let me explain why I'm doing that. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to help the community. I want to give back. When I was first starting, I had somebody who reached out, helped me when he didn't have to. And for that, I will be forever grateful. I think it's one of the most fulfilling things to help another human being succeed and expect nothing else in return. So take advantage of the opportunity while I have it, because as we grow, I'm not going to have a lot of time to do these coaching calls and things like that. I'll be helping our team and all that fun stuff that, you know, your time gets taken up as you grow and scale two, three, four businesses that operate without you. Okay. So use it. It's completely free in the description below. Shoot me an email. Let's, let's get hop on a call. Don't be scared guys. Seriously. It'll help other people in the community, but behind me, we have the owner's office. So we got two desks here. We're going to be hanging out in here. We are going to get uh, everything set up. Um, and we are super excited. I am just now getting the internet finalized. So we had in each room, I don't know if you can actually see here, but we got internet drops down here. Um, it, there's two drops, ethernet drops in each room. So that way we can have the fastest internet for our office staff and us to upload and download any documents that we need. But uh, yeah, guys, this is it. So welcome to Military Long Cuts headquarters. If you guys are ever in the area, stop by, say hello. And um, yeah, this is where we will be running three locations. Our goal is one in Aubrey, one in Salina and Prosper. And eventually when Pilot Point gets big and grows, we wanna have a location there. And all three of those locations will run from this piece of property. I'm Will with Military Lung Cuts. We'll see you guys next time.